Hello folks, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Wednesday. Wednesday 30th of September, I think. So what I'm actually doing is I am in the process of doing some shellac resist decoration using this product called shellac which is made from beetles um, you basically use it pretty much in the same way as you would use a like a wax resist it basically is a form of resist um, I'm doing it in a slightly different way what we're doing is we're taking for example a bone dry piece of pottery and we are going to take the shellac and do a decoration on the outside of the piece. We will then let it dry and then when it's dry we are then going to with a sponge with a wet sponge we're going to wipe over the decoration and in the process of wiping over the decoration where the shellac is not the sponge will wipe away the clay and where the shellac is it will remain raised if you like so you get a sort of uh, like an embossed an embossed kind of decoration it can be quite interesting um, I came across this actually on the internet uh, myself and I'd never done it before in fact I did a, a YouTube clip of this a few years ago uh, I think in 2010 in fact and I've not really done it much since then and I thought I wanted to I'd like to come back to it again and revisit it and um, so that's what I'm doing. Yeah, so let's go. So Now this shellac is not water so soluble. In fact, I think you have to have ammonia or something to clean your brushes. So Let's just make sure that we're in the picture. Let's just lower this tripod a little bit. Something, something like that. I uh, will start about there and uh, see how we go. So I've already done one which I've got over here on this plate warmer thing. Which is incidentally a useful, a useful apparatus for um, for drying pots. You can pick these up at yard sales and places like that for a dollar or so, and they they're great places to put pots on, dry pots, you know, pots that you want to get through through the bisque firing, for example. Uh, anyway, I've got one. I've got a bowl already up there, as you can see. So. Um, so I'm going to do one and then I'm going to take that one and we're, I'm going to wipe it off to show you, okay? So I've got my brush here, I kept it wrapped up in a damp cloth because, good. Now I've also got here some of these guys, I don't know, I just thought I'd play around maybe with some of those, you know, throw them away afterwards. So you do have to be a little bit careful when handling the, the, the work because of it being dry and fragile. So I'm going to do a very simple uh, decoration here. So we're in the picture. The shellac, it dries rather quickly. It's already drying on the brush, I notice. So, 
we're going to do some grasses. I'm just going to do lots of grasses, okay? So try and be loose about it. Don't want the don't want the shellac to run. All right. These are some grasses in the field that are probably maybe a little tired. It's the end of summer, you know. They're kind of they're looking a bit languid, a little bit. like they've seen younger days. Anybody feel like that? <laughs> yes. So once you've done it, try not to put your finger onto it. Yeah, you just have to learn to work. I'm just trying to get the feeling of some grasses here, you know, just, yeah, maybe the wind is blowing them a little bit that way, you know. I like grasses that are uh, sort of moving, you know, not too stationary. I like to see a little bit of uh, movement there, a bit of action going on, you know, not too sort of just... We want exciting grasses, and that means moving grasses. So using a brush, we tend to, well these days we don't even write, do we, with pens like we used to. We're sort of like going like this on keyboards, but we used to, if you, you, you using a, a regular pen is a rather hard instrument, isn't it? Whereas a brush is rather soft, so a different approach slightly. Try to keep the brush fluid. Try to keep it dancing, you know? Nothing too stiff. Yeah, just make it loose. Don't worry about it. It hasn't got to be tight and all just, you know, just Let it go. Just like it would be in nature, you know, it wouldn't be too sort of, everything would be, it would be irregular, wouldn't it? So. I wouldn't use brushes that are too expensive to to this for this because I don't know how good it is for the brushes. Coming round, yeah, you just got to be patient, work it all the way. You see now, you could do, you could do a different decoration, of course. Uh, it might be one that would be quicker than this. Of course, after this is all done, of course, it'll be bisque fired and then it's glazed, you know, on top of that. Probably comes out looking completely different. Mm. 
not completely different. But... Maybe they're not grasses, maybe it's a forest. Like that. Okay, we sort of... See, it's kind of loose, isn't it? It's, it's not very, not very precise looking. But that's it, we don't want, we don't want to be too tight, do we? Just make sure we're, we're kind of in the picture there, because... Yeah, all right. Well, maybe we'll move, we'll bring it in a bit. Camera. Okay. Now, oh yeah, I got some of these the other day from hardware shop and I, I don't know. Did, so what I was thinking, I never used these before, so I'm just gonna have to see how they go. I'm trying to do a different Is that working? Is that working? I don't know. Yeah? Maybe. I can't, I'm thinking that they're sort of like, maybe these are leaves or, I don't know. Leaves, Sam, they don't look anything like leaves. What are you talking about? Certain kind of leaf. Can't press too much with this, otherwise the fine point goes sort of thick. You know. Wow, that looks a real total, a total jungle, isn't it? Okay. Well, maybe I've made it too, too comp too complicated but uh, these things once you've really used them with a the shellac you're going to end up throwing them out you can't clean them so uh, let me just put that there let's put the lid back on the shellac here and we'll just br bring the camera back a little bit I think because what I want to do now is show you du, du, du. Now this one I did earlier which is warm at the moment so this one I'm going to put up there on the warming plate so it can dry like that this one I, I, did, I did earlier and um, so I just wanted to just 
It doesn't take very long to dry actually. I'm going to take this wet sponge and what you're going to do is wipe over like this. Now you find that the shellac is a little bit more, a little tougher than say just wax resist. It stays longer and can endure more wiping with, with a sponge, you see. Whereas the wax would lose its, lose the definition of the of the decoration. So as I'm wiping like this, you see the clay, you see the clay on my sponge, now that's the clay that is where the where the shellac isn't. It's wiping that away, you see. Should we, should we bring the camera in a bit closer here? Hang on. Bring that in a touch. Because I want you to see that. Not just pause. Okay. Uh, just make sure what I'm gonna where I'm gonna have to hold it. Okay. I'm gonna have to hold it about here, aren't I? I don't know if you can see, but already the decoration is beginning to is beginning to stand out. You can see the edges of the of the grasses are beginning to show. I should have a go at doing this, folks. This is very easy to do. It's very forgiving. All right, and just lay the shellac over the surface of the dry clay. Don't get too hung up about it having to be a perfect decoration. You'll find it will be perfect. You'll be pleased when you've done it. Okay, now don't get this pot, which is a dry pot, don't get it too wet. Because it could run into problems. Well, this particularly this pot, because it's a fairly thin, thinly thrown piece. So you know it absorbs the water rather readily. Keep the sponge moving. Can you see we're beginning to get? This is not a like a. This is not a, a process that you're going to do in a few in a few minutes. You 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 you, you do need to be. You do need to be patient. Just work at it slowly, you see. You can go with the grasses like this, as well as against the grasses like this. Or whatever, whatever your decoration happens to be.
Yeah, you can't be in a hurry. As I say, I've not really done a lot of these. I might have done half a dozen before. I think what you'll find is that the, the, the sponge possibly does remove a little bit of the shellac, but not a great deal. Maybe a circular motion like this is good. You can do this on any form, can't you? It doesn't have to be a bowl. I'm going to show you one in a minute after it's been bisque fired. Because you see, after, after doing this, it'll be left to dry out and then it'll be bisque fired. And the shellac will just burn away, you see. You, you won't see the shellac anymore. Yeah, I'm coming around to the other side, but I've only done about two thirds of it. So I think probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this clip to a close. Otherwise, it gets a bit long winded. And see if I can just show you a place where it's, it's worked nicely here. Say on this side, and then I'll bring in the camera here to show you. So get yourself a can of shellac just for two or three dollars, and you can have a go at doing this and see. You'll be very surprised how how good it can turn out. Let me just take that one and go over it like that. Okay, let me just bring that up to the camera a minute. Just pull back the zoom here. Uh, oh no, maybe it's... Can you see there? You, yeah, you can see. You see how it's beginning to uh, pull out the clay between the shellac strokes that I did with the brush, and it has a sort of embossed effect, doesn't it? It it does maintain. You see quite a. You see that's got quite a hard, a, quite a hard edge just along there, hasn't it? So as you wash it out, it does maintain quite a nice, um, it does maintain the edge, it doesn't get all blurry, if you follow me. And I think that is something, you know, to bear in mind. It, it, you don't lose the decoration by wiping it, it, it remains. Okay? That's that one, I just wanted to show you uh, I've got a tea bowl actually somewhere over here. Um, yeah, this is a tea bowl that I did a little while ago. I haven't fired it yet, but uh, just to show you. Okay, like a regular tea bowl, but you see, you see there how the raised. The raised area is where the shellac was. It's 
So that's kind of was just loosely painted on, you see. And um, all right. Okay, folks. I hope that was of interest to you. Um, I, I I enjoy it. You know, it's, it's it's interesting. You get this sort of raised and lower lowered the lowered areas and the raised areas. I I think it's. Uh, you can be very creative with it and I think it's fun. So, please visit my website simonleachpottery.com. We have two workshops coming up, one October 24th and 25th, and then I've got one in November 7th and 8th. Um, I'm doing other workshops as well in other places, but not here. I'm traveling to do this. But, uh, but if you are, you know, if you're traveling or if you're passing by, if, you, if you're in this area, then, you know, give me a call, write to me if you want to visit, if you just want to drop in. You're welcome to do that. And um, what else? Yeah, and have a go doing this shellac, shellac treatment and then wiping off with the sponge. I think you'll enjoy it. Hey, thanks for joining us and, as always, keep practicing. See you soon. Bye-bye. Oh, that's the one I'm going to have to wipe off next. That one there. Bye-bye, <laughs> folks.